Hi, this is Mark from the Me Techie YouTube channel. Today we're going to talk about some new features that I just learned about with Dropbox Showcase. The month is September, the year is 2018. Dropbox Showcase was released in 2017, but there's some new and exciting features that you might be interested in. So let's go take a look at those now. I'm about to log into my account. And I'm using 1Password to store all my passwords. It's a really awesome way to do it. So I'll just log into my Mark Dropbox account. And you want to go to the Showcase area. And the best way to see the new features is to actually just uh, immediately begin to create a new Showcase. So let me do that now. Okay, so some things that we always had, which is the ability to add a logo. So I happen to have an existing logo here for my company, so we'll use that. You can still add an introduction, nothing new there. Okay, so let's take a look at some features that might be interesting. Okay, I can go to a particular file where I have some videos and some things I want to upload. So I will do that now and choose to include those. And some interesting things you can do here, feature number one, which uh, looks like you have these tool tips that come up or these uh, helper reminders, save time with sections and they're explaining to you some new things. So this is a, an option that you can actually show multiple items per row. And instead of just having one or two maybe, you can decide just how many you want, up to six it looks like. And then you can choose to hide or not hide the titles. So if you actually had a file name within your file, you can include that as the title, thereby saving you some time on having to type that caption in separately. However, you can uh, not only show the title, but you can still override the title. And you can also add a caption. So you can actually have a title and a caption all under a video, for example, or in this case, a PDF. I can have a title here. Uh, it, it describes the type and then the caption below that. So some nice features here. Uh, there's a plus symbol that they've added here, which I don't believe was here before. I don't recall if the plus was on the left. Um, and then they have these sections labeled here. So there's some new features there. They now have a preview button, which is really more of a dominant feature than it was before. You can preview this button and check it out. You could always preview it, but I don't know if it had a preview button in quite the same way. And then you can go up and down within the um, documents within your showcase. Then within a particular item, if I select this, I do have some nice options. I can resize item to row. Uh, left align, center align, and right align you could do earlier. Full width you could do. Edit appearance is something interesting where you can actually drag the appearance here uh, almost like automatic cropping or automatic, uh, you know, adjustments. Then you can move to a new section. And what else can you do? And you could, you could have replaced it earlier. You actually had that feature. So there's some interesting things here. And you can also use this fit option or fill option. So those two are new for the editing. And you can actually determine uh, the magnification as well, the zoom in or zoom out. Again, those are all for the preview images or the, the, the way that this thumbnail essentially is um, derived. Now, what you can't do is you can't change the thumbnail, which is a shame because that's really a feature that would be totally amazing if you could change the thumbnail. Then they have this option here where you can rearrange with ease. So you can drag the handle here like this and move one section to another. Let me try that again. There we go. So that's a little easier than it was before. And then you have this selector here where you can select multiple items and then that toolbar shows up at the top here where you can resize them all, left align them all, center them all. So it's much better for handling multiple documents uh, in your showcase where you can edit and make small changes like this all at once. Okay, so those are some of the new features. Hopefully you enjoyed uh, learning a little bit more about Dropbox Showcase. If you haven't already, be sure to watch the other video where I say what is Dropbox Showcase. Uh, that explains a lot more about what it is and how to create it. Today, in this video, it was just about some of the new features.